Welcome to the wonderful world of church governance. It's important to understand how things get done at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Delaware County. And so for the next few minutes, we'll be showing you how the church is organized and how you can get involved. Every Unitarian Universalist congregation is independent and self-sufficient and self-supporting. We operate under the principles of what's called congregational polity, which means that you and all the members of the congregation hold the ultimate authority for making decisions about the mission and vision of the church, the activities and programs it offers, even who it calls as its minister and how long they serve. There is no pope or other central authority that tells us what we can or cannot do. That said, there are both formal and informal relationships between UUCDC and other Unitarian Universalist congregations. And we are part of the Unitarian Universalist Association, which offers services and support to our congregation. But the bottom line is that the members of our congregation control the direction and the destiny of the church. Now let's look at the organizational chart that shows who does what within the church. As I said, all power and authority flows out of the congregation. We have an elected board of trustees whose job it is to set the strategic direction of the church. The board casts a vision and then keeps tabs on how we're doing and working toward making that vision a reality. The executive team is where the action happens. The exec takes the vision and strategy from the board and puts the wheels in motion. It establishes programs and activities that help move us closer to our goals. You'll see on the org chart that the executive team is broken down into five portfolios or areas of operation. We'll take a closer look at those now. First, we have spiritual growth. This is where I, as the minister, spend most of my time. This area includes not only our Sunday morning worship services, but also faith development for children, youth, and adults. Our Soul Matters program is a core component of spiritual growth, and we'll tell you more about that later. Next, we have social justice. All our justice-making groups and community outreach programs reside here. These include supporting the Media Food Bank, our Share the Plate program, where each month we take one Sunday's offering and donate it to a community partner, and our participation in advocacy groups like UU Justice PA just to name a few. Stewardship, or taking care of the assets and resources of the congregation, is a big job, so we've split it into two roles. One member of the executive team keeps track of our expenses, pays our bills, prepares our annual budget, and works with the property committee to make sure our building and grounds are well cared for. The other stewardship member of the exec focuses on fundraising. Because we are an independent and self-supporting congregation, our expenses need to be met by the generous donations of our members and friends. We have an annual pledge drive, as well as several other smaller fundraisers throughout the year. The fifth and final role on our executive team tends to member engagement. This is the group that sponsors programs and activities that help us feel and stay connected to each other and to the church. It's where we tend to the community and its needs, where we reach out and care for each other, and where we make sure to have some fun. Keeping the lines of communication open is an important priority in a community of our size. And we have various channels to do that, including the church website, Facebook pages, and other social media platforms. Sunday morning hospitality falls within this area, as does our growth through service program. GTS, as we like to call it, is a great way to link the interests and needs of our congregation's members. And like Soul Matters, you'll hear more about that later. I know that all this talk of org charts and portfolios may sound a little corporate to you, but don't be put off by that. We need some organization to make sure the congregation keeps moving in the desired direction and that it's serving the needs of our members. And the reality is that we want every member to be empowered to get involved in the life of the church. GTS and Soul Matters are great ways to do that. But if there's something you'd like to get started that we're not already doing, all you need to do is approach the executive team member where it's most likely to land 
and they'll help you make it happen. And if you don't know who that person is, you can always come to me and I'll help you sort it out. Our congregation is like a wonderful mosaic. So many pieces make up a beautiful picture and we need your piece to make the picture complete. I hope this has helped you understand how UUCDC is organized and how we get things done. And I hope you find a way to get more involved in the life of the church and discover all the ways that it will enrich your life.